Uh, like, like your buffer size, keyframe, all that. Let's see. Where do I find that? I'm, uh, I'm not good at this under. part. It's okay. Uh, okay, so at the very, you, do you use OBS Studio? I use. Hold on. Is e it changed to 3K? Is what chat. 64 bit saying. Windows. I, I'm using. I think the nor I think this is Studio. Is that the one with the black symbol? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm oh. using that then. Yeah. Uh, at the very top, there should be output mode. Okay. On well, yeah. Uh, there's simple and advanced. Wait, at the top of settings or at the top of? Uh, so click on on the, on the left hand side. There's output. And then at the very top of that page, it'll say output mode. And there's simple and advanced. Oh, it's grayed out. I can't affect it while streaming. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah, you can't touch that while streaming. But, uh, but you haven't buffered yet, so. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, you haven't buffered yet, so maybe, maybe, maybe. Do you, uh, in the bottom right, uh, is the, the green box changing to yellow or red or whatever? Not yet. Okay. Is your bit, like, fluctuating? No, it's pretty stable. All right. Maybe that is was your it. your heart rate fluctuating? Maybe I was trying, yes. I am very upset. But anyway, I, it looks like it's handling it. It, how long have you had it at 6,000? For a while, like, since we started. I think. Whatever me and Stir talked about it last, I think. Well, it, it this you did still have to buffer before in the past before you changed. That you've always had this problem. That's, there's nothing new. It's your no. fault, Joe. How long have you had the same computer? Four years. Okay. And the router. It's time. To, it's time to upgrade. <laughs> okay. Like. <Okay>. All right. <laughs> Like right now, you gotta. We'll, we'll oh, wait. No, it's just, I yeah, guess. we can wait. We'll, we'll be wait. Here. You make that new egg call. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. We'll get help that, you build get that, it. Get that same day delivery. I would very much like someone to help me build one that is meant for streaming because I tried it and I think I did an okay job, but I don't know. I can get, I can get you one set up. You can just give me a budget. That would be very helpful because, man. $8. $8. $8.50 eight fifty on the top sixty thousand oh, okay. dollars jesus was... <laughs> this is a very wide margin yeah anywhere between eight and sixty thousand if we could sort of ballpark <laughs> it between there somewhere eight dollars and sixty thousand it looks like we're holding so let's let's just build you build your pc for level six but yeah mm. uh... build you a pc for level six well let me tell you no <laughs> yeah no well, uh, okay, after after the stream, just like hit me with like your budget, and I can get you something. Okay. Uh, Look, I got a TI eighty nine. I'm not using. I might be able to get something <laughs> with that. You play that Tetris game? Oh yeah, you can play Phoenix. You can play Fall Down. Yeah. Block guy. Calculate some parabolas and shit. Oh yeah, bro. It's like an abacus, but I don't hold it in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's fucking. Okay. So last time you met this Let's guy. Let's just blame it on Moon. Wow, look at that guy. Alexa. And Wait, he. It... Oh. What? Uh, I don't see the oh. the campaign. Hold That's on, weird. hold on. Let I'm me. gonna reconnect. You guys, you guys set? Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll wait for Joe to reconnect. I'm here. Or not Joe, no. but uh, Octo. Sorry. Twice me. Is there a dark mode for this? For map tools? Oh, yeah. Nice. They've been now asking it's... for that uh, for five years. It ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's My answer. suggestion wear shades. <laughs> I think I won't. I'm always wearing shades. All right. Here All we right, go. I am now good. I got my shades. Let's go. Everybody locked in. We good to go? All right, let's, let's, D. Let's, let's do it, man. Okay, so last time on Shattered Crowns, our heroes met the Lantern Lighter, and they were given some prophetic, sort of cryptic uh, warnings and instructions, and the creature demonstrated an immense amount of patience. 
as they continuously as they continuously bickered amongst themselves. They're too big. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this is a serious campaign. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, uh, now he's, oh, looking over, like he's looking over them like he's <laughs> yeah, are you shitting me <laughs> are you shitting me bro you can't be serious <laughs> anyway uh so you oh my god so now you must <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i gave them a toy and so now you must do the light uh god Due to the lantern lighter's instructions, now you must travel down the uh, under highway and make your way towards fucking god damn it. I'm taking him away. I'm taking him away. You're grounded. Stop it. Sorry, I'm sorry. He's crossed. I was going to put it on Ronnie. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, I'm going to lose my shit. All right, so. Under the lantern lighter's instructions, you must travel on the under highway and make your way towards the marketplace, which behind... The lantern's so light, you gotta wear shades. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> and within the marketplace, you can find a hidden entrance that will take you to the Lord of Flowing Water's main pyramid, so that you may take back what is yours. Well, all right then. So do we just go down this... Do we just go down this ladder? Uh, or that, that, that stairs leading up to the statue. Oh, oh okay. I thought that was like some weird hole. He came out of its back. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. So there's, there's go? no like opening or entrance or anything. No. All that happened was the. Uh, no, no, he said it was in the cavern of woe. We must go back. <laughs> oh, the cavern of woe. Right. It's where I wanted to go anyway. That is not what I said. <laughs> oh, so where do we go? Yeah, listen up, guy. You must travel westward towards the market. Okay. I look around real quick. Uh, so yeah, which way is west? Scrubbo points west. It's that way. He will yeah. point in this direction. You you think you could know? How do you, you know, you know, you think you you know that? Mark it on our map for us. Look, man, I grew up here. <laughs> all right, I've got cave sense. All right. That's actually That's not him true. making that up. He does actually know that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good at at least one thing, and that's finding my way in deep, dark, dank caverns. Oh well. All right then. Lead the way. Hey, uh, spirit, do you mind telling these stupid shrubs to let us pass? Oh no, no, it's okay. I'll just wave the stick around. Apparently, that's all I got to do. They have already been instructed as to whom their lords are. They good. shall no longer molest you. Thank you. Oh, that's good news. Oh, well, I mean, they could a little bit. Oh what about my the god! Ethics? It doesn't just mean that! <laughs> what, what about the explosion runes? They will not I activate know. as long as you do not read them. Yeah, I, I think you hit them all. <laughs> I hit one of them. There's, I mean, actually, we did disarm all. Anyway, let's go. Come on. Oh, we gotta get to the marketplace. The Cavern of Woe. That's the first place we went. So wait, if we don't read them, we can pick them up? No, they're inscribed. <laughs> they're activated okay. by Reed. <laughs> oh, well, then I'm safe. I mean, because I, I won't read. <laughs> no, because you're illiterate. I, 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 I that, never... That's so sad. You're like I've, 50 years old and you can't I, read. I, I read a book. <laughs> what was the book? Name it. Uh, the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only book I need. It was called Huck's Favorite Book, and I wrote it myself because I can read and write. Look, if we don't die, I'll teach you how to read. Just, you're, stop lying about it, all right? It's embarrassing. Well, it's, uh, we got to get to the market. Let's just uh, mosey on over there. Uh, look, you you can't read. I can't reach high shelves. There, we have things that we're good and bad at. It's a symbiotic relationship. That's right. We need each other. I love you. Love you too, Scrum. How specifically <laughs> accurate? <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. All right, let's go. Well, go then. Farewell. <laughs> and uh, what do you mean safe. farewell? You're coming, aren't you? In the lantern? I have. Uh, uh, Ikar shakes the lantern. Well, oh yeah. I am, but 
I'm not going to be active the whole time. Okay, but can we call on you if we need help? Of course you can. We're How do we do that? Is there a, a passphrase or? Yeah, you like shake it. it really hard. All you must do is blow into the lantern. That's it? Guys, guys good at that. Yes. <laughs> what, if I, what, what if I get lonely? That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> then you blushing. may Let's summon go. me. <laughs> All right, get back in the lantern. Shut up. <laughs> All right, he's just gonna. He doesn't have a face, so he can't really roll his eyes. But he's rolling his eyes. The car blows in the lantern. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have <laughs> summoned me, adventurers. Okay, good. How may I help you, inheritors? Wow, get it really in does work like that. We, we were oh, just we are testing. still here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have. Oh, wait, do, hold on. Do you not know, like, the passage of time when you're in there? It is different, <laughs> yes. Oh, God. That's terrifying. Temporarily, it is at almost as if I do not exist. Oh, so we kill you every time. <laughs> I suppose Holy one crap. might look at it that way, yes. Mine All right, so go back in the lantern. You as you you're, wish. You're murderers! I blow into the lantern. <laughs> Oh my god! Greetings, inheritors. <laughs> you have summoned me. How may Welcome I offer back. my guidance? Oh, we are still here. <laughs> it's been 500 years. Where have you been? <laughs> I see. Well, I must say, you look exactly like your ancestor. We failed. We had to go back in time. And then oh kill my. ourselves and inject our minds into the corpses of our past selves. I did not realize <laughs> that you had broken Raquel's oaths. That is very dangerous to do, inheritors. I was just kidding. Get back in the lantern. Let's go. As you wish. <laughs> I like this guy. Right. So, west. Yeah. So west. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's just go back the way we went in. Obviously, and then we go the entrance. West. The way. Yeah, west. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get over the move, you guys. To be clear, west. Yeah, west. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you look where the sun is setting. That's the dark sun, all right? It has different laws and stuff. Actually, probably. I, I, I don't. <laughs> Serious campaign, by the way. <laughs> all right. The party successfully uh, makes their way through the hedge maze. Uh, they are not affected by any bushes or explosions or hurtful words. Nice. Right. Uh, which way do we go now? So this is east. We need to go back the way we came. Yeah, I think we have to head back on west. Yes. Scrumpo leads. All right. I follow. Let's go through. Hey, let's wait. Go through the bramble. What would be below the dark sun there? Like, is would that you... just high up in the cavern? Like, un like this area? <laughs> yes, that's just high up in the cavern. That's just more of it underneath it. That's okay. just to show that it's there, perspective wise. Yeah. Right. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. That's so... I mean, whatever you say, DM. It is whatever I say. I know. <laughs> He's God. All right. I'm reinforcing your authority. Anyway, as you move towards the west, we will now change maps to the Hidden Highway. I love this place, except for all the horrible faceless monsters that eat. The Firth Neblin Young and other sort of disgusting things. Yeah, I haven't seen any. Yeah, because they saw you and they're waiting. All right. As you begin to move east, you, many of you will become disoriented, except for Scrumpo, who understands the winding methods of the tunnels. Because as it just so happens, you come from the westward path. All right. Scrumpo, you know that in order to go back west, most assuredly, further west from the position in which the creature spoke of, you were going to have to make your way up and around to this curving, cur oh, through this curvature of the tunnels. So you'll have to go north first. The water weld. Correct. Come along, friends, and keep low. Watch out. Scrippo uh, walks on all fours. I'll make sure that I keep low. <laughs> all right, we need to go north here. All right, and you that, turn to north, the north. By the way. And then he points north. That sounds this... different than west, but all right. Hold on, we're going around, all right? As you head further to the north, eventually you come to a large rock outcropping. 
and now we're going to have to do some skill tests the way oh, ahead nice. seems to have the road uh, the road's stone walkway has fallen to the wayside and you're going to have to shimmy yourselves carefully along the ledges uh, Scrumpo, due to his small size and his natural affinity for the stone, will roll this with advantage. Ronnie will not be able to do it without assistance, so someone <laughs> will have to carry Ronnie and therefore be responsible for his and their death. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming a car can fly through this. Of course you can. Uh, I'll take Ronnie. As you wish. I'll yeah. grasp him by the barding, and uh, I'll Roro. cast guidance I'll cast guidance on uh, Huck and tree and guy ronnie is frightened as he is suddenly airborne <laughs> when you land it's okay boy he will be so quietly struggle and scream wow also remember like everyone has inspiration except for one person i can't remember who i don't think i have it i think i'm the one no i don't think you gave it to a car because the car can fly <clears throat> true yeah oh and everybody else has it okay. all right so let's get started I'm going to need some your choice of athletics or acrobatics checks to cross this narrow passage. Oh fuck! I forget what I'm good Don't those at. Both just go off decks anyway. Negative. Athletics is strength based. Acrobatics is ah. dex based. I remembered what I'm good at. <laughs> I suck at both, so it doesn't so, matter to me. Hmm. My yeah. wizard arms are telling me that that's a bad idea. That's with advantage. With advantage. Scrub leap. All right. Guy easily makes his way across the ledge and he looks this is easier than the mage somehow the, the maze <laughs> okay. the, the mage maze mage Scrumpo um, so waddles this... uh, in his Hank in his Hank's dad method carefully <laughs> etching back and forth before he makes it to the other end <clears throat> backflip a big pipe nice. performs a backflip and almost dies but is able to stumble his way across the ledge <laughs> There is a time for backflips. That was not one of them. <laughs> Who's left? Uh, I guess I'll have to do athletics. Here we go. Um, Drop the dog. Yeah. Oh. Huckleberry. Yeah, you can add a D4 to that. Oh. Uh, All right. Do I? I guidance to you. Go ahead. What? Why would he have to add a D4? That's a good roll. That is a good roll, but now with a 23, he gets to upstage all you fucks. Can, can I, oh, my bad. I was looking at the wrong number. I'm an idiot. You know those, you know those like uh, mountain goats that like hop up the rocks? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That like are standing <laughs> on basically nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys ever seen a centaur ninja wall run? <laughs> because you have now. Oh, so, shit. So, Concentrate the chakra in the bottom of your boots. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That Ochiha. was funny, but it, I saw red for a moment. <laughs> Concentrate the chakra. I'm sorry. He said it in that accent. Concentrate the chakra at the bottom of your hooves. <laughs> God damn it. Wait All till right. he busts out the, the Konoha reverse lotus. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway. After, uh... After Huckleberry Ninja runs across the chasm, everyone has now made it to the other side, and thus the journey continues. Eventually, as you make your way through the, rind, uh, through the winding under highways, by Scrumpo's guidance, you are able to not get lost, and finally, you happen upon what appears to be a marketplace. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> And hold on, since this is probably going to be a thing, let me go grab uh, the spirit. <laughs> what's a, what's a L O F W mean? A Lord of Flowing Water. Mm. It's so I can mark mm. it different from the other places. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Laughing out fucking loud? <laughs> uh, <laughs> laugh out fucking wowed. Wowed. I'm laughing out wow. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Can we see the, the market in the distance? Yes, you can. Also, oh since my. we're going to the market, I went ahead. I've been keeping track of all of our gold. We have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Between all of us. Yeah. How much gold you got? I he wrote 626. I mean, we could. 
I got a bomb. Hold on, no, don't. <laughs> don't, don't. Bomb. It's fine. All right, listen. This is the Shadow Bazaar of Death. Actually, I forget its name, but listen. If any of my people are there, they love bargaining and, and arguing about prices and stuff. So it should be pretty Ooh. easy to make do with 600 gold. Get some good stuff. I love arguing. Question, because I'm just like, how how good are they at detecting like, I don't know, illusionary gold? But we're inherently magical, so. <laughs> All right, I mean, it, would be, it depends on the, the gnome, I guess. Ambient shift. Cool. Oh, oh, that's what I've been missing is the music. All right. How much do you think we could trade this lantern for? <laughs> Holy crap! Actually, it's probably <laughs> worth a lot of money. Yeah, good question. I blow on the lantern. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, inheritors. You have How summoned me. are you worth? I am here to provide guidance. The lantern is of a magical quality, and my guidance is. Well, priceless, but I suppose if I had to market value myself, 3,245 gold pieces. Oh All right, cool. Thanks, man. Get back in the lantern. Get back That's in now. That's not that much. As you wish. <laughs> I kind of feel not nah, over, actually. He's, just, he's dead already. It's I not probably should have put a limit on how many times you can summon him. <laughs> uh, can I put Ronnie down or will he fall to his death? No, he, there's a road here. You're good. All right, great. I, I put Ronnie down. As you put him we down, he starts barking happily. God, I, I fucking hate that dog. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Why do you hate marketplace? It's okay, Ronnie. He's he so pathetic and helps you. No, I don't. He rolls on his stomach for belly pats. I give him a belly pat. For a while, so I give fun. him a hell of a belly pat. I get all those scratches. This pleases the Ronnie. All right. When you get to about this point, this is when you start to notice some things. First, the market is eerily in perfect shape. Time and the elements have not damaged it in any way that you can see. The stalls look almost as if they were just opened on a bright new day. The darkness and coldness of the cave, however, adds an unerring contrast to the preparedness of the market. Although you cannot see them, you can softly and faintly hear voices arguing prices, talking of the day, and purchasing food and weapons and all other manners of a marketplace's sounds. They are muted echoes just outside of your hearing, noticeable but indecipherable. A ghost market. No, we need to do the the dance and the chant in order to see them. Excuse Wait, me. What? I've yeah, it's, a, it's like a secret handshake. No, I think you have to just walk closer. <laughs> yeah, I was just fucking with you guys. <laughs> well, I wish you back to ask. How you doing? <laughs> All right. As you start to enter the market, you can see that there are many items for sale. There's fine-looking elven rope. There's food, worms, fish, all sorts of things like that. And this fisherman's uh, stall, there's armor over here, weapons, silk. The market is robust in its options and variety. Oh my God, we're all going to die. What makes you say that? Scrumbo is going to Anything steal something. mechanical here? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. And we're all going to die. <laughs> I'm mechanical right. as in clockwork and whatnot? <laughs> yes. Not that you can see so far. Darn. Uh, Ikar approaches the, the fishmonger stand. All right, as you and... approach, you see that the fish appear to be fresh. Uh, I'm not quite interested in... F well, I suppose I'd be interested in fish, but uh, uh, what about bait? Nothing answers you. You see no one behind the counter, but there is bait there, as it is a fisherman's stall. Uh, Ikar points at the bait. How much... <laughs> Nothing answers. So what happens if we just take it? I mean, I suppose we can find out. Uh, <laughs> That's the obvious. It's kind of it's kind of fitting that you guys are at the fisherman's booth and you're about to take the biggest bait of your life. <laughs> <laughs> wow, actually, that's awesome. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> that's good. Well, while you uh decide that. Scrumpo, when you get hey. to here, you notice that this building is different from the other stalls. 
it appears to be a mausoleum there is an elvish script written above that seems to depict a family known as <clears throat> the namesaken on the front there is the family's heraldry which appears to be a fist uh, wreathed in flame you notice that this mausoleum ha has its door cracked as if it has been looted oh <laughs> Scarpa was going to go in, but he, he goes to back to find his friends. <laughs> I blow in the lantern. Big Pipe wanders aimlessly around the market. Okay. Um, Greetings, inheritors. You have summoned me. How may I help with my guidance? And what's How going much on this market? Is the bait? Uh, could you ask again? <laughs> How much? is the bait I am unsure hey ghost person listen up yes inheritor scrumpo who was the main patron of this marketplace the main patron of the marketplace was ruled by three noble families they each had a particular stock and noble standing in the eyes of the lord of flowing water of those right. three named only one remained in my time they are known as the name Saken. Hey, someone looted their mausoleum back there. I that, don't know what that... That no, is unfortunate. You, yeah, what does that mean? I think it, I think it's ghosts. There are ghosts here, right? The spirits of my people yet still echo within these chambers. Okay, so, hey, quick... Equi okay, look, I, first I want to apologize for being a jerk. W what? Back, back at the hedge maze. No apologies are necessary, inheritor. I am yours to do with as you wish. Second, oh. what, what happens if we take stuff from here? Without paying. The lantern will sort of scratch his head a bit and say, Well, technically speaking, it is already yours. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, fantastic! No, stop! Uh, <laughs> do it. Ikar definitely <laughs> reaches out, grabs a worm, and pops it down. Oh no. Oh. In that <laughs> case, please make me a constitution saving throw, my friend. <laughs> oh my god. I just, I think out of character, I just realized what this place is. The worm is delicious. Oh god. Would you like another? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> to resist. No. Oh, no. oh, my dear Akar, you are famished. A car grab a car grabs another worm. So not delicious. A, this is not a bad not a bad punishment. It's so delicious. You must have more. Those fish look awfully tasty. <laughs> uh, Ikar resists the fish? He's not a fish guy. He's a worm guy. He's a worm guy. He's kind of more of like a, a worm and carrion guy. It would seem that there is something a little off about Ikar. He is eating uh, without manners, which is not something that you found common with him. You also see that he keeps randomly stopping, almost as if he's trying not to. But it seems that he cannot. There is yeah, obviously dead. something wrong with him. Hey, spirit, how long ago did you die? <laughs> I am uncertain. Time down here is difficult to track. Like, so, like a century? Two centuries, maybe? Oh no, I have been, I have been a spirit for at least 400 years. Oh. Car, why are you, why are you stuffing yourself? Because it's delicious. You really should stop. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's rotten. What? Oh, God. If by rotten you mean amazing, then... Uh, I, yes. pull, I pull a car away from the worms. All right, as you start to pull a car away from the worms, make me another wisdom saving throw a car with advantage. I can't select advantage, so I'll roll it twice. Once more, with feeling. <laughs> All right, as he pulls you away, the hunger pulls you back. I'm gonna need you to. Oh. All right, 
I'm gonna need you to, to I, I make opposed checks if you want to pull him away. Oh my god! Ah! Big tree, wait! Hold on. Uh, offer the dog some food. See what he does. I'm not offering. I'm... Look, he's a dog. He'll know if it's bad. <laughs> it's. It's. I tell. I. I. I tell Ronnie. No. Sit. All dogs do have detect magic. <laughs> <laughs> the dog will sit, waiting for a treat. Scorpo grabs a fish and throws it at him. No. I, can I try? I'm gonna try and catch the fish. All right, make me a dexterity saving throw, DC 15, to catch the fish. Ah! Wait, uh, wait, no, I have. Been, wait, I have. Would you like to know. use your inspiration yeah. on that? Oh my god! Yes. All right, reroll. He doesn't have to roll. He gets it. Yeah, it's always 15. What? Wait, I don't know. Yeah, he inspiration. Do I? Yeah, you do. Okay, are you using yeah, we all have it. We haven't used it. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. I thought you meant the reroll. My bad. Wrong inspiration. If that's the case, then the minimum you get that that'll be enough. You catch the the fish. So, Scrumpo and Big Pipe. Why? Make me wisdom saving throws. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> you both touch the fish. Wisdom. My mind will not be corrupted. Let's find out. Fuck. Tragic. You know, <laughs> now that you've touched the fish, you've realized, man, how hungry you are. It would taste so good. Despite my hunger. I'd I'm like assuming Ikar can't cast spells right now, can he? <laughs> no. uh, not until you're free from the deliciousness. Yeah. <laughs> Can I arcana check this fish before I eat it? You sure can try. All right. I am going to attempt to arcana check it because something ain't right with this here fish. You better not eat my fucking fish, big pipe. <laughs> big pipe. Finally. Yes. Uh, with that roll, the DC is actually lowered for you because you are an illusionist. <gasps> you did not notice it at first because this is a powerful illusion, but that is a precisely what it is. As you look down at the fish, you do not see a fish. You instead see the skull of an ancient elf. <laughs> we were going to eat bone? <laughs> Holy fuck. You also see that right now, uh, Ikar is stuffing his face, not with worms, but with small little hands. All right. Can I try so and just... Is there any way I can like dispel the illusion? As you are an illusionist, you know the only way to dispel it is with powerful dispelling magic, which you do not possess, or you need to actually convince your allies that it is not real. And only when they do not believe in the illusion does it lose its power. So while this is happening, can Huck come can around- Can I try and- mm. <laughs> The corner and see, Wait, do, do I-, I still see the illusion right the only person who does not see what uh, the only person who sees the truth is big pipe okay everyone else Where? sees what i've described so far okay. everyone okay stop y'all no. are literally eating bones <laughs> shut right up give me, my, give me my fucking fish big pipe you it's not a me. fish it's Prove a it. bone i, I eat bones all the time nothing new yeah come <laughs> <laughs> Give it over uh, right now. Guy, come here. Uh, yeah. What, we need to. Okay. On? All right. There's some illusion magic going on. They're currently stuffing their bodies full of, well, inedible material. That's probably going to kill them if they keep <laughs> eating. Carrion bird. Okay. I need, you to, I need you to grab a car. Very important. Do not actually touch. It looks like fish and bait. Don't touch it, please. All right, there. I tell Ronnie, to, I point uh, to like right here and I say, go, sit. Affirmative bark. Hut, 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 hut. Um, am I, uh, you want me to pull him away from that? He looks like he's having a good time. No, trust I me, am. it's not a, it's not a worm. It is. I mean, Anyone else feel like the lantern is. guy is I, judging I, us? <laughs> okay, I'm going to try something different. Can I cast an illusion on the illusion to make it look like something else entirely? You sure can. <laughs> <laughs> what would All you right, like to perfect. make it look like? Yo, dog, I heard you like illusions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it look like knives. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> like they're eating, like I'm going to make it look like they're trying to eat knives. All right, make me a wisdom saving throw at this time, Akar. To see if you fall for such a easy trick. You do. Holy shit, <laughs> that's a knife. Stop eating that immediately. <laughs> that is a tasty. The car stops and looks at the knife and then maybe like he's going to spear the fish with the knife. <laughs> a car then, then, de then decides not to. What? It seems this that a car is free. You what? I You were eating knives. <laughs> well, <they> didn't <laughs> a car a car starts patting his belly. They okay. were very good knives. Okay. A car inside your body are dead elves. Oh, that's nothing new. They're well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you I'm okay? sorry, if, it, are, if you're not familiar with avians, it's this, this, he's kind of doing the thing like all this here, rounding his face, it's a pot, raven. All right, you're eating bones. Prove it. I'm still not impressed, <laughs> but fine. Everyone seems upset. I'm quite full. I'm done. All right, no. good. I'm that, eating this, I'm eating this delicious fish right now. It's so good. I'm just good. gonna fuck, I gonna... just punch Scrumpo in the <laughs> <right on me. laughs> I, I'm not even gonna try and convince him. I just punch him. All right, you, you punch him right in the face. Scrumpo, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He wants you, he wants you to fish, what an asshole. Scrumpo, car... Scrumpo falls to the ground and then flips over onto his stomach <laughs> and scrambles after the fish that he dropped and continues. It should be knives now though, not fish. But you oh, cast it on right? his. Oh, you cast it, you cast it on the cars, not mine. Mm, yeah, not his. All right. Uh, so he's chasing I, if, after the fish right now. If the car casts purify food and drink, is that going to work or not? Because it's an illusion. I, I'm, you can certainly I try. Mechanically. The, the uh, mechanical outcome isn't clear, so it's something that you're going to have to try and see. All right. I, I'll, I'll do that. All right. As you cast purify food and drink, a special interaction will occur. <laughs> All righty then. I sneeze, sorry. What occurs is that the fish, that the fish's oh. illusion evaporates, revealing the elven skull. As the food no! is purified, what you see is instead a fully fleshed out, decapitated head smiling up at you, Scrumpo. No, this is my it, fish. It, it then winks at you. Scrumpo vomits on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he throws the fucking head like over here and right. he's like <laughs> uh, just, just I, to make a point uh, it it's now safe to eat it no. wasn't before but now now it is I would not eat it yeah I wouldn't risk that but I mean you know that's your prerogative Scrumpo pulls himself bark. to his feet uh, lantern what, boy was there blood in it? yeah Continue. there was how may I help you inheritor? <laughs> Are all of these things inside this market illusions? <laughs> I am uncertain, but it would seem that this place is well protected. You know what this is? It's another stupid holdover. The fucking stupid elves are all like, oh, let's maintain the integrity of our market even after our death, so let's make a giant illusion, and then we can fuck over anyone who tries to take our stuff by making it secretly poison our explosives. I guarantee it. There's a mausoleum to the west. And Scrumpo points over there. We, I, someone looted their thing. We need to go over there and do some stuff. I bet. I bet we're going to see their disturbed remains, and they're going to be like, oh, no. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right, I'm in. I hate, I, these guys are jerks. They made me eat a flesh from a dead fucking decapitated head. Guy, as you take a closer look at the head, it does not have blood. You see that it is, however, a remnant of a necromantic presence. And now that you have more or less had the illusion dispelled from you, your natural senses return and you sense your kin. There are many undead in this area and they are converging. Converging on your current location. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! While this is happening, I go ahead and motion Ronnie to come forward. Ronnie! The undead are coming! God, I go ahead is... and pull out a uh, small Guy, actual trick for him. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I can... Good boy. As a vampire, a full-blooded, authentic vampire, I can sense it 
They're coming to kill us. We have to go. No! Are you sure they're coming to kill us? <laughs> not me, but the rest of us, yes. But why would they kill us and not you? This is not the time for- I would say this is a debate better had somewhere else. Perhaps we should- Hold on, let's hide them. Oh, sure, the sure, sure. Let's, sure. let's hide them all the The illusion is not a good time. But when we're shoving bones down our throats, oh, the, it's all good. The party's continued bickering slows their reaction speed. And these creatures ah. break through the fog. The time for mercy has passed. I'm trying to warn it. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yes. No. You did try. No. I tried to warn them. <laughs> I don't want to die. Not here, not now. Maybe later. Your ancestors tasted very good. All right. Here we go. Rolling initiative for everyone. Here. Initiative set. I didn't go last. Guy, you have initiative. I hold knew on, this was coming. Oh, combat music. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I have a plus five to my initiative. <clears throat> oh, you do? Okay, let me go check. I don't know if that's being calculated at all. Uh, it is not. <laughs> I can fix that though. Or plus five in total, I should say. I got I got two from my uh, background and then three from dexterity. There you go. Resorted. Everything's fine. Let's do it, guy. You have initiative. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Thinking Huckleberry's on that side. I'll take this side. You get that side. I'll take the hard ones. Rush up to this fool and, and joust him with my jouster. Yes! King! The desiccated guardian is not so easily jousted. Fuck. Anything else? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. Very well. Huckleberry. Yes. It is your uh, turn. All right. I'll, uh, I'll ready loud iron. And I will, uh, let's see. 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, yeah, you have 45, don't you? I have 45, and I have uh, additional reach because it's a pull arm. I will walk over here. I will charge up, and I will swing loud iron at this desiccated guardian down here. hi -ya! Show uh, me what you got. Wait, uh... Oh, I lost my macro. That's too bad. Okay. Um... Attack frame? Wait. Where's okay. my, where's my Hellbird macro? Oh, it's, it's loud iron now. I don't... Oh, there it is. Yes, okay. Yes, it's actually it just called it. loud iron. No, I, I was like, where's my Hellbird? It, you actually na renamed the macro. There it is. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Ching! Ooh! Uh oh, that was supposed to happen. Big pipe. All right, I'm gonna come over here. Uh, actually, wait. Yeah, right here. And I'm going to shoot a web here to try and connect to these three, so that way it'll stay in place. Okay. And affect these two, but just out of range of guy. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, that'll do it. Watch out. They also have spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let me see here. All right, start of turn. I, I make what the that DC is on that. It's uh, I have a macro to determine that for you. What is my oh, spell DC? Yep, if you look underneath your active macros, I have a macro to tell me that. What they... is my spell DC? 14. You must roll this high. Okay, and I'll roll that at the start of my turn. 
Okay, anything else? I get slightly further away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, car. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right, I'm gonna go uh, help out Huck here. Animal people. Animal people gotta stick together. But well, I'm gonna step in front of him. Whoa! What? what? Such courage! I'm gonna, and I'm gonna cast Word of Radiance on Desiccated Guardian 2. That's pretty radiant. Very well. Still, no, I have to. Hang on. <laughs> no! Wow. <laughs> no! <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and cast Spiritual Weapon and summon the Mug of Justice! Very <gasps> well. The Mug has returned. I guess it's, no. it's questionable justice. Mug of questionable justice. It is Sekel Let's be serious. Okay. The Mug is summoned. Where is it? I put it right there. Oh, wait, you want the actual token. I can't remember where I put it last. It's okay. Uh, it's uh, with, with the scarab. Oh, with the scarab? All right, let me go find it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. At least that's where it was last cast, so. Yeah. I'll find it. Let's see here. Where did I put it? There it is. There's the mug of justice. Questionable justice. Okay. That's uh that mug's gonna go after the same one. You got it. Which is this button here. Big pal. <laughs> Unfortunately, the mug with its justice is unable to penetrate the defenses of the desiccated guardian. Anything else? No, that's it. Scrumpo. We've done nothing! Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my bonus action to try and hide. Right. And, uh, do these guys have disadvantage before their, oh. like, roll? No. What is that on top of them? I missed that. That's web. Uh, web. It lowers their speed to zero, and they have... Yeah, I was going to say, like, if we attacked before they got their turn, would they have disadvantage? Uh, they haven't nope. actually been affected by it yet because they have their saving throw starts at the start of their turn. Okay, cool. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm moving up one. Scrumpo is going to waddle forward and then throw his back against this booth mm -hmm. and take cover. And he's going to use his bonus action to attempt to hide. And uh, is that that's a stealth roll, right? That is correct. Sweep. Guy looks behind him and everyone is gone. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna use my inspiration. D4, right? Uh, if it's Bardic, D6. Okay. Ooh, all right. Scrumpo is a shadow of a doubt. And then, uh, Scrumpo, you think I can shoot this guy right here? Yeah, you can With shoot my him. With my short bow? He does have gonna... soft cover, but yeah, you can shoot him. Uh, well, this is the soft cover guy. No, 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 it's it's the web. He's in webbing. Oh. Yeah. But he's not, like, deep in it, so it's only soft cover, which is a plus two to AC. But you roll with advantage. Um, so still what's got a the good range? Chance. What's the range on short bow? Uh, 80 feet. So you've, yeah, you're, you got plenty. Uh, I think I should shoot someone not in the web. Dog's in range. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to shoot the one that guy's attacking. Okay. And I and Scrumpo takes aim and fires. Oh Ooh. baby! Damn! Roll me that oh. roll me that sneak attack damage. Oh. A singular strike. A Literally a perfect strike. roll. Holy crap! Wow. Where's that crit? Here comes the extra damage. All right, that is Whoa. uh. <laughs> 37 damage. <laughs> nice. Scrumpo fires an arrow. And it pierces the creature's head. 
Some face, Holy some fall Holy in the face shit. of chaos. Not this one. Not today. I got him, guys. <laughs> Scrumpo, I, I think job, you've done guys. more damage in that one shot than you have this entire time. Yeah! <laughs> that, that roll is actually perfect, except for three damage on the sneak attack. Literally the perfect roll. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Or not not the sneak attack, but the uh, the bonus crit damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really close to absolute max. Wow. Okay. Scrumpo, Scrumpo does a fist pump to himself, and that's my turn. All right. <laughs> Start of turn, dexterity saving throw. Fail it. Fail that shit. Okay. There we go. You see 14. Not today. Oh. Why? But it is difficult. So that's 20 feet of movement. 25, 30. Aha, he still can't attack. Double moving. Oh yeah, he doesn't actually know where Scrumpo is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess he'll stand there and then he'll look at you. <laughs> There's Uh-oh. a guy. I just wave at him. Hi. All right. This no! one will attack Ronnie. No! No! How dare, dare you? Bark? What's, yes. What's, what's Ronnie's AC? Ronnie's AC is 16 with Barding. Nice. Unfortunately, oh, he's oh, dead. Oh. the desiccated guardian will impale Ronnie through the side. <gasps> and Ronnie is down and dying. No, Ronnie! That's Katie Guardian. Save the dog. We'll attack a car. On it. Stop. And we'll hit for 10 damage. Um, I don't know how to do my own damage. I got it for you. This one will move up to the brave, brave bird man. And we'll teach him a lesson in hubris. 10 oh, damage. Oh dear. Stabs for days. All right, and I think I'm that's fine. all of the guardians. Guy, it's your turn. I'll just go one shot another one. <laughs> <laughs> They're out of range. <laughs> charge. Can you charge? Uh, you need only if you the feet. You need the feet. Uh. Uh, double move. Uh, hey. Whoa. Oh, hey there. Things are getting a little crazy down here. Yeah, they killed our dog. Wait, what? Not yet. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm building up morale. He is dead. You have to avenge him. Go, Huck. Go, Huck. Go. Guys, Ronnie does have an initiative. He goes after the enemies, Huck's, though. Huck's getting pumped. Show me your power. It's my turn. All right. Huckleberry. Uh, Huck will strike this desiccated guardian for Ronnie. Uh, he will swing loud iron. Unfortunately, a lot of inspiration. I think it would it. seem that that is insufficient. Can I can I use my bardic inspiration to add it to that attack? You sure can, which means it hits. D- Oh, really? Oh, okay. Because it's he only missed by one. So sure. that's going to be 13 damage. Okay. Um, <coughs> can I use uh, my action surge to strike again? You sure can. I will do that. Show me your moves. Ooh. Those are pretty Ooh. good moves. Yeah! Dang it. Ronnie! <laughs> I hit him, I hit him. So, okay, so I use my action search for, for this short rest. Okay. Uh, and can I do anything off of that? No, I'll, uh, wait, actually. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do trip attack to attempt to trip it. These Are these spirits or are these like corpses? 
They're skeletons, so you could trip them. They're skeletons. Okay, so as if they were spirits, I couldn't trip them. But I'll, I'll try and trip it with, with the trip attack. So it has to make a strength saving throw versus DC uh, 14. <laughs> However, I still add, I add D8 damage to it regardless. Yep. That's another seven. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the creature stands strong against your knockdown. Its legs give out from under it as the creature is destroyed. <laughs> Here, nice. one wish for Ronnie. <laughs> okay, and that will end my turn. And I've used a superiority dice. Big pipe. Uh... Hmm. Question. Do I have... Um, I've already done Arcana, so can I see what this is? Uh, those are like... old rusted weapons. Okay. Uh, I'm going to catapult one of them. Okay. <laughs> uh, the one that hit Ronnie. All right. <coughs> I don't. Catapult? I have catapult. Attack spell. Just roll that Attack. first. Okay, that e hits. I'm pretty sure it's 3d10. It is. Ooh. For 20 damage. All right, you summon forth one of the rusted weapons, which is an old <laughs> war hammer, and fire it. It smashes against the creature's armor and bones, cracking and smashing against it. But it does not fall. Anything else? You piece of shit! Um, can I? Hey! Hey, Lantern Boy! You tell your friends yes, to go away? They do not adhere to my commands, for I serve only you. Uh, get back in the lamp! <laughs> As you wish. And then I move a little bit further away. A car! Um, <clears throat> if I leave, there's an attack of opportunity, right? Is that, that is the way correct, this goes? Sir. Unless you spend okay, right. a disengage action. As in, I can use an action to disengage. Disengage. Mm -hmm. But you won't be able to cast. You won't be able to cast a main spell. Right. At that point. Who's yelling at me? What? Kill the board. I'm working on it, but I'm gonna get my feathers fucked. <laughs> My is fucked. Um. Ah, uh, shit. You're the one who put yourself in front of them. Ikar, Ikar disengages. All right. He's uh, out and moves. Let's see. <coughs> Sorry, that's not where I want to be. I want to be like over here. Oh, hey, man, uh, what's but... up? <laughs> Hello, tree! I'm bleeding a little, but all right, uh, hold on one second. Use bonus action for a mug of questionable justice. You got it. Smash yes. me. Good choice. Ooh! We're smashing. That's some questionable justice. Ow. All right, that looks like you're out of actions. Scrumpo! Uh... Hey, Ronnie gets three saving throws, right? That's the way this goes? If he was a player. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, like... Smile. <laughs> Don't you dare kill that fucking dog. No, you killed it by three. not leaving when three. I told you to leave. He gets three. No, kill it. Dude. Okay. Kill it. Kill it. Uh... So how does them detecting you work? Your dog's going to hell. So basically, <laughs> uh, whenever you can maintain stealth as long as you don't stop moving outside of cover. What? Okay. As long as I don't Move stop cover moving. To cover. So right okay. now you have cover from them, right? right? So if you stop moving here, your stealth <laughs> fails, regardless of what you roll. But if you okay. move to like here, you're still in cover. And when you stop moving, so that means you maintain your stealth roll. Okay. Um. Well, let me do some measuring real quick. I will say that since you attacked last turn, after you rolled your stealth, you don't have it right now. So you have to hide again before you okay. move. Uh, well, bonus action attempt to hide again. All right, let's do it. 
Um, did it work? How does that work? Do I find out if it worked when I attack them and you tell me I can't sneak attack them? You'll have to find out. Uh, unfortunately, I won't tell you if it works or not. You'll have to assume okay. that you're stealthing. That's how that works. Okay, I, was, I wasn't sure. You will be um, informed when the backhand hits you. Okay, well, I'm going to move here. Okay, into That's the webbing. That's my movement. Oh, shit. I'm not going to move there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, right here. Okay. So, Scrumpo rolls. <laughs> and Combat lands roll. back. It, <laughs> it, Combat roll. And uh, takes aim at this guy right here. Desiccated guardian number four. And fires. Advantage. Ooh. Fire again. You have advantage. Oh, okay. Well, I'll roll again. Oh, another. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. Oh, baby. Jeez, wow. 18, 26. Uh, 33 damage. Another He's shot. Yes. Beep, beep, beep. One don't shot. Say I never did to, don't say I never did anything for you, stupid dog. Another I know great you love kill, that guy. Dog. One shot, one kill. When I was a girl, I had the fear of spiders. Oh, All right, you done, Scrumpo? Yeah. Scrumpo leans up against the fucking booth and hides. <laughs> When I was a little spider, I was afraid of girls. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm going to go beat the shit out of Guy. Oh, hello. I'm Guy. Yeah. How do you spell that? I will miss as Guy is too God. flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> Stab. Going straight for Huckleberry. Huckleberry not is not Can flamboyant enough to be hit. Can I deflect it with my chest? I just take it right, right in the chest. And sure, just right in the breastplate. Kang. Shit. I'm about to show you what happens when you mess with a centaur's dog. The desiccated guardian will take you seriously and will begin to cry out for aid. <laughs> Wait. His voice no. is echoing throughout the entirety of the market. You sense that you are going to be faced with more soon. <laughs> if you do not finish this fight quickly. <laughs> what's the what's the voice line for that? We have no time to dawdle. Finish this one quickly. These stairs go up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ronnie will roll a death saving throw. <laughs> Ronnie will uh -oh. fail and begins uh -oh. to bleed out. Ronnie! We're good. Guy. Hey! I have engaged you in combat. Huh. The desiccated guardian agrees. You have, in fact, done that. Yes, indeed. Ow. Notice me. He, he does notice you stab him. Mm -hmm. Very well, then. Now Did your it? attack. He has to wait his turn. No, I, I will wait. All right. <laughs> I'll go back. I'll pay. I'll patient of you. Um, I will swing loud iron, uh, at the desiccated garden in front of me. Show me your moves. Oh, those raspberry. moves were pretty weak. Oh, raspberries. <laughs> Big old pipes. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, just asking, how many do um, how many? Never mind. I, I wrote it down. I have three uses left. Okay. Uh. I'm going to come over here. Okay. And I can shoot. This way, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. I'm going to catapult another another one of these rusted-ass maces. All right. At Guardian 5. Drop that spell attack. Ooh, yeah. That's a hit. 
Let's see that damage. Uh, 3d10. Yep. Oh, that's uh, sad. Pow. It is, excuse me, it was his turn next. A car. Don't worry, old boy, I've got you. Uh, a car casts <laughs> cure wounds on Ronnie. Uh, Can Ronnie do anything combat wise? No, he is not a battle dog. <laughs> okay. He can follow your commands if you tell him to do things. He won't do them very well because he is a dog, but yes. All right, well, he's a dog. Doesn't matter. All right, uh, uh, as Ronnie is awake, he will he will lick a car and thanks. A car gives him an open mouth smile and scratches his ear. Uh, Ronnie will return says, his open mouth smile with an open mouth smile. More of this in a moment because it's time for the mug of questionable justice. All right, let me pan the camera down. All right, kick some ass, Mr. Mug. That's pretty good. That's a lot of ass. How? That's maximum ass. That is a thick mug. Big slam. Well done. Effective turn. Scrumpo. All right, oh. you're two for two now. You want to show me what else you got? What what kind of uh, action is putting away my short bow and pulling out my uh, rapier and short sword? Uh, that is an item interaction to put away and to pull out both. That'd be a, I believe, an action because you don't have dual wielding or anything like that. Okay. Um, Scrumpo goes. <laughs> uh next to big tree he scrambles around this booth oh and then slams against the booth and then ducks down a little bit before he p tries to peek around this corner uh, or pick up over like the because the booth this is just a tarp covering it right yeah so like, we can shoot between it at yeah. the at this guy mm -hmm. uh and then he peeks up well first i'm gonna i'm gonna bonus action to see if i'm still hidden okay oh yeah and then we Slime are going to through. Hold on. Shoot. I just oh, wanted yeah. I, I was, I'm just going to say, do I, do I even, do I know you're even there? Oh, you hear yeah, him you, when he you, thuds. You're like, yeah. holy shit, it's got to put a bell on you. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> hidden when I ran up anyway, so. Okay. But now I am, and I am shooting this guy. Oh. Beep, beep, and I'm missing. You have advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beep, beep. He's still, still missing. missing. <laughs> well, Crap. I guess that's it. Two pumps and you're done. <laughs> Scrumpo flips the 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 guardian off. Screw <laughs> you! And no, he tucks you back down. <laughs> tuck down under me. Ah. Unfortunately, the creature doesn't think it's worth going over there and beating up a small child creature, <laughs> and will instead kill this very handsome-looking undead person. Yeah. Yes, no, that's agreed won't. upon. Well, pow! Okay. Dodge. This one will also call out. <laughs> we could be friends. All right, you have one round to kill these guys before more appear. Wait, did did one swing at me? Not yet. That's okay, this okay. one's turn. Okay, I got it, got it. Hello. Fuck. All right, I'll just, <laughs> I'm just going to lean back. Uh, did it miss? Yes. Yes, it did. Uh, Would you like I to will, repost? I will, I will, will rip a Zeddy. Oh my God. Yep. I got this Focus cat, his name is Ripazetti. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna fuck you up. All right, here it comes. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna make that miss every time you mispronounce it. <laughs> All right, eight damage. <laughs> so be it. Preposterous. Right, that's eight plus D8 for the maneuver. So, uh, 13. D8 uh, damage? Yeah, no. Arrgh. The creature looks incredibly weakened. <clears throat> but still stands. All right, that's it for those two. And thus, back to Ronnie. Ronnie Ronnie! will look up to a car awaiting a command. <laughs> just, why don't you just sit this one out, old boy? Good God. <laughs> All right, he will sit. <laughs> right in his own blood. <laughs> All right, well. Okay. Okay. 
Guys, your turn. Oh, uh, it's my, my turn again. Yes. Uh, are you ready? He is ready. But you yeah. are not. Ting. <laughs> Very well. Huckleberry. All right, here we go. One last swing on the one in front of me. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta smash them. Yeah, from the old loud iron. All right, anything else? Uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll move here. Oh, side by side. Yeah. Chew and me, guy. Battle Brothers. What do you got, Big Pipe? Hmm. Let's see. Uh. Is he? Fo he's focused on guy right now, right? Yes, he is. Can I like try and get behind him and hold him for sure a car and scrumpo? You sure can. That's what I'm gonna try and do. That would oh, be an opposed shit. athletics check. Oh yeah. All right, roll get up for behind me. him. Suplex that bitch. Go full the Nelson. Suplex. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even have to roll. It's literally impossible for you to win. Uh, okay, as you walk up and you attempt you to grapple him from behind. You never know. He should also roll a one. He would still have higher than you, though, because he has strength. You Can you all not know, see man? that we're engaged in a duel right now? All right, you, no uh, respect the duel anymore. you walk up behind him and try to grapple him, and instead you lovingly stroke his back. <laughs> the skeleton what? appears to be uncomfortable. Ooh. Pipe! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, do you see no, these no. guys' robes? They look I, awesome! It's just I, not the time! I respect the initiative. Ikar! Oh, good God! Ikar whips out his crossbow. <laughs> I don't know, it made me laugh. Just... Yo, oh, just stand back! He and shoots the I, guy. All right, and then I go. pulled out my gun! <laughs> he does! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, he does! <laughs> oh, just Red. fucking kill him! All right, eight damage it is. Pow! You've also got Mighty Mug. Yep, Mighty Mug's coming. Uh, he's got a range of 20, so he can move here. Yep, right, that's he can just attack adjacent, range. right? Yeah! Okay. Mug of questionable justice. Give me the combo. Oh, combo oh, misses. Oh, not quite. Scrumpo. It was, exact, it was exact lethal too, unfortunate. Scrumpo, uh, you gotta kill him or more up here. This is it, it's time to be a hero. Uh, Scrumpo hides. Scrumpo oh. fucking ducks back up and shoots that bitch in the face. Beep, beep, beep. I have advantage. <laughs> there we go. Whew. That's what I'm talking the arrow about. strikes the creature in the back of the head. It stumbles he he, forward he, and falls he, to the ground. He shoots it sideways like a, a fucking gat. Blap. Blap, blap. Blap, blap. Like a short bow? Yeah. And it would seem that these enemies are defeated. Their calls unanswered and the market conquered by your inheriting power. Uh... Are we are we out of initiative? Yes. Okay, I immediately go over to Ronnie. Ronnie, are you all right? Well. You're Ronnie! Right, Ronnie will pant happily in his own blood. Oh, look at that. Look at this little trooper here. Oh, Ronnie, he I... get out. You're... I, I give him another treat. He will eat it while sitting in his own blood. Okay, I'm going to... Ronnie, come on over here. Come on, just just come on over here, boy. Yeah, there you go. Ronnie no will longer rub his butt on the ground. Of your own blood. To remove the blood <laughs> from his fur. The car takes a sip from the mug of questionable justice. Mm, that's questionable <laughs> and then, liquid. And then dispels it. it. Okay. I, I notice that and I ask, so what's in that mug anyway? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've well, successfully before, defeated these enemies. Before we, uh, before we move on, I'm going, since I already tried to grapple him, I'm going to see if there's anything on him. All right. yeah. As you search the rob desiccated, them. as you search, <laughs> rob them. As you <laughs> take their stuff. As you search the desiccated guardians, you're able to uncover the following. Uh, each of them have what appears to be old, and this is. Stay with me now. They have gold, 
but the coins are minted in the old elven way, meaning that these mm. coins could possibly be worth a little bit more than just a gold coin to the right collector. They are minted uh, by the Iatonis Imperium. Uh, how many? Uh, a total of 20 amongst them. All right. Oh, so that's uh, that them? across all of them? That's just across all of them, yeah. Okay, okay. Do they have anything else or just the coins? That's it. Their weapons and okay. armor will, are of no use to you as they are uh, All right, everybody. Cracked. Report in. Report in. I Who will, is wounded? Uh, Who is bleeding? I don't feel great, but I'm... I'm Let's be inspected. I'm emotional. Oh, don't wait. Hold on. <laughs> I, wait, 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 wait. A car. A car. You're not going to hug me, are you? Because... I, no, I, I, I saw this once. I put my I put my hand on his shoulder. I look him dead in the eye and I say, you're fine. I, I Why was he paladin? I didn't know. I Wait, genuinely feel better. Do you feel better now? I do. How did you? Very good. But I'm still bleeding, so if someone could. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Well, I, I, mean, I, I drink I his blood. I figured that, like, if you, if you don't. <laughs> I mean, okay. I was following some problems. I, mean, I wasn't using it, so I mean, I don't. It, it, all right. Fuck. All right. The blood, the blood listen, is cleaned listen. off of problems your bird are feathers. only problems if you're looking at it. All right. If you're not looking at the problem, it doesn't exist. Yeah, so just cover your eyes. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. All right, uh, Guy. I, I have the wand of cure wounds, right? Yes. The guy. I, I, hand it, I hand it to Guy. Would you please, Jesus? Uh, uh, um, I think he wants your blood. Uh, what, 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 what was the word? A, a, I think. Baba Booey? No, that's, no, that's, no, that's for magic missile. No, that's, for, that's for little iron. Did this one have a word? Yeah, it's bibbidi bop. Uh, ooh, uh, uh bibbidi bop. Okay. Just Which gonna, is... just gonna roll this. I could roll it. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I don't know what just, it was. Just roll it. It's... It's... Oh god, I think it's a D8 plus three. There you go. You're healed for eleven. While guy is licking up the remains of your blood. I got to say, you don't taste as bad as I thought you would. Ronnie have. will uh, notice that you know, someone I get that is quite licking, a lot. and will start helping. Will also lick. The car's okay with it. All right. Well, I guess they are kind of pruning. Yeah, you know. Now, this is pretty Ooh. common, I guess. A feast. Um. So I'm just gonna ask those. The charges on the wand reset, right? Once. Once uh, every two weeks. Once. I think it's once a week. Yeah. Once a week. Okay. Good hustle, everyone. We're not dead. That's really important because then we don't get paid if we die. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we should hurry up. You know, oh. you're still kind of bleeding a bit. You might want to do it again. It's up to you if you want to give me another another shot of the guy juice. No. Oh, freezing. Okay. okay. Yeah. What? You really want ready. guy's juice? Well, do it. Ooh. <laughs> That's an open. I mean, I've already had you some rude if you think. I gotta it. say, you know. The anatomy is not really going to work out, but oh, I could show you Look, things you've never thought of before. Oh, no, no, uh, bibbidi bobbidi, bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bop. Bibbidi bop. Bimmy bap. Oh, but yes, I heard the mention of a mausoleum to run to. To the west, it's this the octagonal building. It's, it's Let's go. busted into. Yeah, come before, on. Before we move forward, I look guy directly in the eyes and I say. Don't you ever drink Ronnie's blood? I'm watching you. <laughs> Vampires drink humanoid blood. I eye him real awkwardly. I zoom unless in you all can turn, the way with my eyes. Unless you turn Ronnie into a man, he's perfectly I fine. I keep zooming in on his eyes and I say, I'm watching you. Ronnie continues to lap up his own blood. I stare right back. Gross. <laughs> Is it the duel you want? It's fine when he does it. He's just putting it back. <laughs> Over here. Hello. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Jeez. All right. As you approach the mausoleum, you see the same symbol that I described before. A fist of flame <clears throat> is etched onto the mausoleum's door, which is now cracked and slightly open. It's a bathroom. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be after I'm done with it. <laughs> 
You know, <laughs> Agreed. I've been walking blindly <laughs> into every single elven contraption, and I feel like I shouldn't do that this time. I was going to say, why stop now? But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you have a point. It's you got a hundred percent record so far. Why, you know, why ruin that? I walk, I walk straight in. Okay, inside you can see a looted mausoleum, uh, except oh, wow. for one thing. Oh, looted. Looted. Oh, yes. A looted okay. mausoleum. There is one thing, however, that seems to be unmolested, and that is one sarcophagi with a silver chalice atop of it. And that silver chalice has a strange blue liquid inside of it. Uh, can I arcana check that? It's not even about a looted mausoleum. Or would it be a different check for that? Arcana works. The... Or yeah, religion. Okay. Religion can also work. I'm going to do <laughs> arcana. arcana. Guidance is him. What's guidance do? 1d4. Plus 1d4. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but we'll try it anyway. Nope. <laughs> it seems that whatever this is, it appears to be some kind of offering. You also think that it might be holy water. I don't know uh, what the, I don't can know I what this is. Well? Is that the way this goes? Yeah, I mean you can also try and check it. Let's I do will. it. Do what? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take a look at this with my expert in that analysis. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Shit. Good job. It, it's blue. It's yeah, I mean, it is, a, it is a goblet. It is blue. I mean, it could be water. Might be holy water. Oh, it's, uh, it's, Kropo gets guidance too. Add a D4 to that. Okay. Please roll higher than a one. All right, there you go. It's elf piss. What's your total? <laughs> 16. Uh, a 16 <laughs> reveals to you that it is... <clears throat> It is an elven ritual. Specifically, it is an elven ritual practiced in the old times, uh, back in the beginning days of the elven empire. Specifically, it was believed that by collecting the tears of the loved ones of a recently uh, of a recently deceased elf, the spirit might be held in anchor and reach its way to Falael. So this enchanted silver chalice holds the tears of whomever is buried here as loved ones. Hey, everybody, listen up. This is going to be kind of weird, but this is an anchor. Oh, hang on. The stream's buffering. I'll wait. Shit. Rip. We went a long that's time without that. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that was easy. That's good. No, that's that's like the standard buffering that had always been happening. So. All right. So this is part of some stupid ritual that, that allows a dead elf to get to their final resting place in the stupid elven holy land. Uh, it's full of the tears of their relatives, and they cried about them dying. Uh, let's drink it. Wait. Um. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Drink it. I'm gonna drink it unless you guys don't want to, but I, I'm willing to share. No, sure, you. You no, take heard... half. If you don't die, I'll take the other half. I okay. heard the word holy water, so I'll, I'll pass. I move up to my the appetite. Coffee. With Grumpa. Let's do this. <laughs> Scrub, I'm, 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 I'm doing it. Like if he doesn't, if if he doesn't die from it, I'm gonna take the other half. So it's on a pedestal right now. It's on a sarcophagus right now. Okay, Scrumpo clambers onto the sarcophagus and then on all fours reaches for the goblet and then drinks mm -hmm. it. Oh. All right, you take the chalice and you drink the elven tears. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, why do they do this? Oh man! All according to Keikaku. <laughs> Keikaku. All right, as you uh, take a deep swig of Elven tears, something happens. They all Scrumpo. fucking die instantly, and Scrumpo becomes the ultimate elf. On your chest, the symbol of the namesake appears. No. <laughs> and something rumbles from beneath the sarcophagi. And this. Scrumpo, what'd you do? And then a spirit appears before you. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> Can they see it or is it just me? It is seen by everyone. Okay. A car, blow on the lantern. A car blows on a lantern. 
Big Pipe, you want to hit this shit? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me respond as him first. Okay. All right, uh, and he will say. Who are you? Oh, well, my name's Big Pipe. That there's Scrumpo. Uh, we both hate elves, and now we're here, and we probably just drank uh, uh, th some dead relative's tears. Look at my chest. I've got your emblem on my chest. Also, we're part of an adventuring company called Scrumpo and Friends. Did you drink the tears of my family? Yes. How'd they taste? Oh, I'm sorry. Listen. Okay, we just defended your holy resting site from the undead, and I, I, we have no water left, and I, I just... I reached forward and I did it. I'm sorry, all right? I thank you, my friend. Oh, you I... have done a great service. Oh, well, then here, I'll take the other half. But please, from... <laughs> might you do yet another? Yeah, sure, whatever. Yo, hand me that goblet. He hands it to him. <laughs> There's no tears left. Oh, shit. You drank it all. I was thirsty, all right? Scrub. Oh. I said, save me half. I hey, couldn't help it. It was so little. delicious. It was like ambrosia on my tongue. It, this is the moment where it does the Looney Tunes like boop over Scrumpo. He's shrugging. <laughs> That's our Scrumpo. Oh. All right. And <laughs> oh, sorry, go on. He will then continue and say, please, there is yet a tear missing from the chalice. My brother, what? my brother yet lays unclaimed, bound in an eternal stasis. Please, you must save him. You're the Where? only ones that can. Where is he? He is nearby. I can sense him, but I cannot see him. Wait, hold He's on. He's not one of the guards that we just killed, is he? No, 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 no. Hold on. The, the, the lantern spirit said that there were three patrons of this market. So there's probably other resting places, assuming this place has been deserted for so long. <coughs> I think I did see other buildings on my way through. Yeah. Hold on. It's probably one of them. Uh, wait, hold on. So why would your brother be in one of those other places? Wouldn't, why wouldn't he be here with you? He came to bury me, and I saw what happened then. He was taken. By who? I do not know their face, but I know their intention. They sought to claim our right our claim to the market, to a piece uh, of the wealth and power left behind by the Lord of Flowing Waters. Uh, one second. I blow on the lantern. <laughs> All right. Uh, I point to the spirit. Hey, is that the guy we're looking for? <clears throat> Greetings, Inheritor. I have returned to provide my guidance. Again, I, I, I point to the spirit. Is that the guy we're looking for? No. All right, cool. Get back in the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen, we'll go free your brother. Um, Any advice uh, that you could give us in regards to who took him i guess not i guess you don't really know huh you're you are dead after all all i know is that the same ones claimed him killed me oh it was oh. it was a baited trap you see i was killed so that he would come out of hiding to see me to place his tears within the chalice so that my soul might find its way to fall i hell. Please, 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 it isn't right. My brother deserves not this fate. All right, listen, just wait here. We'll go, we'll go free him. I'll, 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 I'll tell him a really mean joke, make him cry, put it in the chalice and we'll come put it back. And then you'll go to, to your stupid elven afterlife. Say what up to your God for me from Scrump Bro and Friends. I thank you, kind stranger. You are nice. truly. No, you shut up! I don't want to hear it. No, stop! Please. No, no he really, no, he really likes hearing this. Please. <laughs> no. I, 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 I stopped from believing. Come on, baby, let's go. I grab no, his pendoshi. <laughs> no. <laughs> please right. tell him, tell him more. Tell him how much you love him. I don't, I don't like you. You have the eternal gratitude of my people. 
All right, whatever. It doesn't mean shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I said it. That's right. It doesn't mean anything to me. Nothing means anything to me. I hate everything. He will cover his face in a soy boy soft cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cry. Life is worthless. Even after life. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I move forward dragging the Fendoshi. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I just make a friend in there? Okay, so here's the story. It's a dead elf, and we need to free his brother who's it, being held captive by some evil it, people in another yes, mausoleum nearby. Yes, we heard it. It echoes. It's oh, quite sorry. Loud, actually. Yeah. All right, sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. We can hear right. from out here. I didn't mean that about the life stuff. I just wanted to make the spirit feel bad. Mm. I love living. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. No, seriously, I love it. It's great. Mm. 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 Big tree, big pipe. Sorry, uh, take us to the other buildings you saw. Oh, okay, yeah. There's one over here. I bring the party over to this. All right. As you approach this, this, you can see that this particular building is much like the other mausoleums, except it it seems to be more like that of a jail. You can see that it is reinforced with steel and harder stone, and the the door in the entranceway is locked with three different locks. Hmm. Well, it's a bunch uh, of locks on this thing. You want to get, take a stab at it, Scrumpo? Your card <laughs> checks for traps. Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> As you I'm check, going to back up. Make an investigation check to check for traps. I want to I wanna check with him, like we're working as a team. All right. I'm not. I'm watching from afar after walking into too many traps. <clears throat> Hold on. You detect that there were once traps, but time has taken its toll. The traps have mm. failed since then, but whatever is within this particular building, someone took great lengths to keep people out, not only through the locks used, the reinforcement used, but the, even the traps used were once powerful magical maladies, such as disintegration and baleful <laughs> polymorph. <laughs> Holy so, crap! Do you want to stick it in or shall I? And uh, by that, I mean the lock picks. Listen, if I die, I just want to let you guys know that this is the, the most fun I've ever had in my life. And I loved it. I love everything about what we've done so far. I feel like we're making a real big difference. Oh, you're but definitely going to die now. This to what you said maybe five minutes ago. But all right, have fun. <laughs> no, sorry. Five minutes ago. It was just leading to this next joke I was going to make. Just kidding. <laughs> Got him. But secretly, Scrumpo was not kidding as he turns his back. <laughs> He sniffles a little bit, <laughs> reflecting on their journey so far as he begins to pick the lock. All right, make make slide of hand check. He said JK, but it wasn't JK. All right, you failed to unlock the first lock. <laughs> a, a trap goes off, but it is broken, <laughs> and therefore nothing happens. Oh, uh, like, like so we heard like the spring or whatever, yeah. like the fizzling. <laughs> oh God! You need some help there. Yes, please. I give him assistance. All right. Now you For roll the... with advantage. Uh, and I'll give him guidance. All right. Roll with advantage and a plus D4. Okay. All right. All right. 26. All right. Well, they, well you got to roll a D4. It doesn't matter. You made it. So the first lock is undone. Oh. Second lock. All right. Scrubbo dives into that muff. I re-guide him. I don't think I need to re-guide him because he hasn't actually used it. All right. Nice. Well, looks like the uh, lock is undone. Now you have one more. Let's do this. It's a cantrip, so I can do it all day. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah. Oh, wow. shit. I don't even need it. That lock opens before you even touch it. It knows better. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The door is now open. Oh my god, I just realized we could have yelled for this guy. He's probably I mean actually he's probably dead. He's probably actually dead. don't don't we own this? He's technically Yeah. George. No, I mean this... I mean the guardians that attacked us, I think, is a very clear indication that we might own it, but they don't care. Well, maybe if we showed them the scepter and told them with our gods. <laughs> oh yeah. That, maybe that would have worked. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> ah. Alright. Uh, Someday we'll remember that we have this. 
So describe the interior of this place. All right, as you open it inside, you see what was once a mausoleum had been quickly reconstructed to be what appears to be a prison. You see a single sarcophagi, or excuse me, sarcophagus in the center of the room, chained with heavy iron and faded slightly chains suspended above the ground. It is wrapped by these chains and are locked by seven different locks. (laughs) A circle underneath it still contains a baleful magic to keep those oh. that would try to approach it from doing so. Uh... Well... Well, we tried. Can I, would, would Arcana checking the circle do anything for me to give me more insight on it? Sure can, yep. All right, I'm uh, going uh, to do that on the circle. Uh, me too. Yeah. I don't need you. <laughs> Extremely powerful. <laughs> it's the Doom Slayer. Oh my god. <laughs> soon. March is coming up soon. I know. Soon. Just let me in. And anyway. if anyone needs a bomb, I've got it. <laughs> Alright. What does this want to get me? This is what you know. The circle has a powerful necromantic seal meant mm. to produce an enormous amount of necrotic uh, necrotic energy to assault anyone that would cross its threshold. Specifically, the amount is 10d6. Would I have advantage against that due to the history or background? Uh, what's your background? Uh, well, I picked the regal and I have resistance against the element that I picked, which is necrotic. And yeah, you would. Interesting. Yeah, step in it. How much would that reduce it by? If it's half, si- sixty. Okay, so it'd be three d ten. No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. It's it's ten d six. That's how much it is. Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah. Would uh would it trigger uh, once or would it trigger on just would it just go once off and we just constantly? Oh, that's a constant thing. Oh. What, else, what else do we see in the room? Uh, in the room that surrounds it is old dusted catacombs that were cleared out to use this make use this as a makeshift prison. That's the only thing within this mausoleum. So you're saying if I walked in, I would be assaulted multiple times, or you walk in, once? you'd get ten d six, and then depending on how long you stood there, ten d six again, ten d six again, ten d six again. There are seven locks on the uh, hmm sarcophagus. Is there- is there any indication hey. that there's a control mechanism, magic trap? Well, this isn't it's... a trap so much as it is a glyph. Okay, um, gotcha. So it would require arcane interference in order to disable what? it. All right, I'm going to just try one thing. I pulled out the scepter. Magic be gone. Oh, that's a good one. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. pull out the, the scepter. Like magic words for me. And as you do so, there is a, a, a slight sparkle of light from it and then elvish script appears on the circle here lies the traitor forever bound in the nameless sleep not alive and yet quite dead a car blows on the lantern <laughs> okay wait I, I can I can disarm this trap everybody yeah, yeah well I mean you can disarm it but the moment you walk in you're going to take a lot of Damage. Hold on. I can, listen, I can use my mage hand to disarm it. I can stand out here while it does it. Greetings, inheritors. I have come to provide my guidance. I point at the sarcophagus. Who that? I do not know. All right. Get back in the lantern. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's not as helpful What's as he thought idea, he would be. What's the right Are we going to... So, listen, the mage hand is a part of me, all right? It goes with me wherever I go. Actually, kind of not really, but... I can just give it my tools and then it can go fly in there and disarm the things. And I'm pretty confident that because it's magic, it won't be affected by the trap. Well, I mean, go for it, yeah. I guess. If it blows up, no big deal, right? Yeah. I mean, I have a backup plan, should that not work. Don't throw me in there. <laughs> Come on. Never mind, we don't have a plan. <laughs> I mean, I still have a plan. Okay. All right, let's try this. Well, actually, even though, well, 
if we unlock the chains, then it's going to drop onto the, the glyph, right? Because it's being suspended by the chains. I guess. So, but that'll... I would assume that whoever's in that is probably that's not that's not there to stop whoever's inside the sarcophagus. It's to stop somebody from disarming it. Why don't we have uh, why don't we have a uh, car fly in there and catch it? He'll die if he if he goes in there. Oh, yeah, if you go in there, you die. Rather oh, heavy. Go in there. I'm not. Also, you have to remember he has hollow bones, and that's a sarcophagus. Hollow bones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, hollow bones. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my mage hand now and then give it my tools. And then he, he wiggles his fingers, and then the mage hand blinks into existence after he says the words. Blink. And then he, and then he uh, hands off his uh, thief's tools to the hand, and then he points at the door and it wiggles its way into the mausoleum. Are you using your mage hand to lock pick from far away? Yes. Well done, sir. Thank you. All right. That's literally one, like, the main aspect of my class. All right. Start unlocking. Okay. Uh, all right. Now watch this. I practiced this for years. And all I, right, it's I'm watching. Literally, it's literally never come in handy until right now. So I might mess up anyway. Ikar puts get... his hand on Scrumpo's shoulder. It just guides the shit out of him. I put my hand on his other shoulder and give him assistance mentally. I watch from a safe distance. <laughs> I come over here. I place my hand on his head on top of it. Is that head. with advantage? <laughs> uh, I, did, I didn't roll with advantage. Roll again. I'm assisting. You should have it. Okay. With a d4? Wee. Oh, yeah. Hang on. <clears throat> All right. Lock number one down. Six more to go. Nice. All right. Second one. The car <laughs> starts rubbing his shoulder just a little bit. <laughs> mm, that's nice. <laughs> lock number two. Nice defeated. Uh, I start giving him a scalp massage. It's lock, working. Lock number <laughs> Jesus. People are I'm just so relaxed. People are just rubbing him down. <laughs> look. Use the oil. All right. Uh, <laughs> lock number three, I guess. And I start really getting into that, like that shoulder blade, to get that 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 <laughs> tension out. <laughs> I rolled again. Hold on, people are saying they can't I, see the rolls. They're right here. What? I, I can see them on your stream. I can see them on your stream. They're just blind. Too. All right. Uh, Jack, let's... you're blind. Open your eyes. Can I, All right. Can next. I do, can I give him like supportive ASMR down by his ear? Be like, you're doing great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can do this. All right, cool. So that's another lockdown. Lock number four, please. No, I just did. Uh, I rolled this. That's the fifth one. Oh, okay. That's I, fine. I that's done. All right. I, I'm overzealous. <laughs> All right. Next, you got two more left. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. All right. That one's down. Gee, he's on it, man. This is really help. Yeah. This is really working. Uh oh. Oh, that one you have advantage still. That, that, was, that, that, that was All the ones except for the first one rolled with advantage. Oh, okay. So that means. Okay. You made that one too. All the locks are undone. The chains fall towards the circle. Oh God! Sit back. The card does not I jump stop back. The back rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. With all the chains down, the sarcophagus can now be opened. Oh. Can your mage hand open that? It, it can only lift so much, but I could try. Hold on. I need to get my tools first, and then I'm gonna. And then he's gonna yoink the tool from the mage hand, and then wave it back in. All right, the mage hand no, goes towards it. There's no way that this works. Um, he's gonna try and open it. <laughs> try and push the top over, I guess. All right, you pull at the latch, you pull it open, the sarcophagus opens, and you see this individual tied up in elven rope with uh, several of the, you guys know those like, uh, Bondage? No, no, the no, no, no. Japanese no, no. fetish bondage? No, 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 no. The, uh, the, uh, the, the little slips of paper that you put over oh, people to yeah, seal yeah, them. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm um, talking about. Shinko has one from Darkstalkers. Where's Ronnie? All right, well, anyway, you see that placed all over this individual as you see this guy. Hello, could you cry? He does not oh, respond. Car, are you are you in the building right now? I was. I think this is kind of the threshold right there, right? Oh, they're just called talismans. Oh, I thought they had like a special name. Oh, okay. 
Hey! He does not respond. Stop him with your mage hand. Yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah, give him a good one. Scru Scrupo pokes his head with the mage hand. All right, as you apply pressure to the individual, you poke him on his head, his head lobs forward, and his body starts to fall forward. Uh... Scrubbo watches him fall forward. <laughs> All right, he falls out of the sarcophagus and onto the symbol, and it goes off. Oh my god. Oh no. It deals 28 damage to him. All uh, right, car flies. Uh, how heavy does he look? Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. I, he I, looks, I, he I looks can pull pretty him out. heavy. I can pull him out. Head in there, pipe. I, oh, I have resistance to it. Halt. Just get that wand of cure wounds ready. That's it's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah! Also, he dismisses the mage hand. All right, the symbol goes off. I have resistance, so it'll be half of whatever you roll, right? That's correct. You take 15 and he takes 30. He's gonna die, dude. Wait, why did, oh. out of there. Oh, okay. Well, he's not dead, right? He shouldn't be dead because he's only taking a... Uh, Wait, no, sorry, he did take 58 damage. I thought it was 48. <laughs> well, all right, do you You're grab him? Than that man. Yes? All right, you drag him out. Uh, cure the him! Cast spare the dying right away before, as he's ready and cure wounds. It's just quicker. All right. But yeah, yes. <laughs> the dying is spared. He casts uh, cure wounds. <laughs> all right. Actually, he... yeah, go ahead. Look, I'll, I'll use it. I'll use this burn slot. All right. Roll it for me. All right, so that'll heal him for... What's spare the dying do? Who, who killed the elven monk? <laughs> it, just, right. it's, it seems so that it's he is not dead, dead, but he has also not been moving this entire time. Shallow, haggard breaths can be seen uh, emanating from the creature. He is still bound in the elven rope and covered in talismans. Uh, All right, I will... I will gesture to Ikar, and I'll say, Hey... Can I get one of those wands? Or maybe a cure wounds? I think Guy's got it, doesn't he? Guy! Oh, hey, hey, just give me an ass slap, man. Uh, 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 <laughs> yes, sorry, I, I do have it. Um, baba ba 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 bing ba. I'll just, I'll roll it. Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can, can you, hey Birdman, can you take a look at this guy? Uh, no, 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 please. I went to school for this. I'll take a look. Okay. Don't suck his blood. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, like, let's keep this chunking to a minimum. Actually, you know what? Yeah, suck his blood. Guy, what would you like to do to Investigation the check. All right. 19. You start to investigate uh, the individual's body. You see that the talisman seem to be strategically placed over his key points, which through your travels you have heard of monks. So that's probably why they're placed in that manner. And you also uh, see that the bindings uh, are holding him in place. His unconsciousness seems to be magically inscribed on the talismans. Hmm. Uh, what's wrong with them? I take the talismans off. All right. You take the talismans off. They are now off. Kick them. Wake them up. I, I think I could get more information if I had just a taste. Taste his blood, I don't care. He's a stupid elf. I mean, it seems fair. I, I, is you I mean, we did save him. Uh, yeah, do it. Jewish one. All just right, I'd bite his neck. <laughs> okay. Just, 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 just a tiny little sip, you know? All right. How much do you take from him? Uh, <laughs> I mean, as much as I can without killing him. I don't know the quantity what? of that. <laughs> as um, much as you can? Make me a medicine check. I just burned a spell slot on this. Uh... Thankfully, your intuition tells you when is the time to stop the suck, and you do not <laughs> end up killing him. I wipe it. I wipe the final <laughs> drop of blood from my mouth and say, "Well, that didn't help." <laughs> so what did you learn? Uh, the talismans were binding him, and uh, uh, something else. I don't. We might try. <laughs> we might try waving that scepter around. It seemed to react to other elven detritus. Nope, the literally, just move him. Wake him up. Slap him around a little bit. 
I what? oh wait. Is he back? I ripped the talismans in half. Hello, am I back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah. Right. Yeah. Alright, you ripped the talismans in half, they are destroyed. The uh, I still have a little bit further away and okay. I remove his bindings. Alright, you start cutting away the rope, you see that the ropes themselves are inscribed with uh, elvish script that were placed against his body, creating burned indentations. Finally, after all his bindings and all these talismans and all these seals are removed, and all the blood, the and cre- most of his blood, <laughs> the elven monk begins to breathe in a little more deeply, and then finally, his eyes open. <sighs> The feeling of fear will overcome the monk as he looks around. Too weak to move, he will say, Who who are you? Where where am I? Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to try and stop him from, like, moving around, considering he's basically on death's door. He can't, so you you stop him. All right, cool. I'm just making sure he doesn't, like, kill himself somehow. Who are you? Where am I? We're Star Fox. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who are these guys? We're Star Fox. <laughs> Actually, I think we should start introducing ourselves as the inheritors of, of the Scarlobes, Scarlobes throne. That's awesome. kind of long. Can we, yeah, can we cut it down? Right. Just the inheritors? Uh, oh, I think we we are the inheritors of the Scarab Lord's throne. God, I'm bored halfway through you saying it, but fine. I think it's awesome. <laughs> that sounds important. I hold up the rod too, and I say, uh, "We're we important." Could, we could just use the acronym for it, uh, which would be. What letters are those? Uh, do you even know what? Do you what even letters? know what letters? Eonslit. Uh, it's all. It's Eon right. Yeah, what well, he should. I knew that, but I was testing you. Okay, did you pull out the scepter? <laughs> what? What, what did you do? I'm sorry. I, I said I pulled out the scepter okay. and I said we are the Scarab Lord Inheritors. Okay. Well, he will kind of sit up a little bit. He'll look at the rod. And then he'll say. So, you are the new Lords of Flowing Water? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, That's the speaking, one. Of, speaking of flowing water, we need your tears. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, is he even that guy's brother? He, he yeah, I don't, even, I don't think that's his brother. He will, well, st- he, will, he will stand up, and then he'll kind of reach his full height, and he will say, And what do you feel of the aqueduct? It feels uh, damp. It's pretty <laughs> wet. <laughs> well, well with, with the inheritors, we haven't... Inherited yet? We're, we're on our way. I see. We're not thing. quite there yet. So you know not Car. even what you hold. Oh, on the lantern. Not yet, but hey, listen, we just saved your ass from a trap that would have killed a fucking god. All right, we did that. The car blows on the lantern. Friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, inheritors. I have I returned. I pointed him. Who that? I. I do not know. <laughs> you already know it's coming. Get he, back in the lamp. He bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, he had more to say. Maybe we should summon him again. <laughs> Blow on it. Again. Greetings, inheritors. I have come to provide my wisdom. What does he bear? He bears the mark. Of the namesaken. What's it's that him. Mean? That's the family, one of the patron families. And also that guy's brother. This is it him. Was, it was pretty specific with the whole, you know, never ending sleep thing. I wasn't really. Right. Can we have your tears or. You came here to bury your brother, right? Yes. Monk? Yes, I did before I was Wait, accosted. By who? By the back of the lamp. Say it. <sighs> okay. By the false court. Who are they? Oh. The false court were a penchant of minor elven lords that attempted to usurp power when the Lord of Flowing Water sealed himself away. It was they that took control of the aqueduct and made those that would normally get water freely 
in the great desert to pay for it going against wow. everything that the lord of flowing water dictated i was and their most open opponent and with my noble bearing i had the ability to stop them until my until my family was hunted and i went into hiding when my brother was killed i returned to bury him properly and it is there that they attacked me and and does that make you sad of course Scribble. Holds like the, sad enough the... to <laughs> perhaps I don't know. Hold on, no, he know he know he knows why he's here, the car. All right, he, he, I bet he can cry in command because he's a fucking elf. <laughs> 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 Listen, is that, a, is that a thing? An elf your, do your brother's that. your brother's spirit is in that other mausoleum where you left him. And then he he hands him the goblet that uh he took from the. Where mausoleum are all relic. the tears? Wait, they, we, uh, we, why listen. do you bear the symbol of my house, gnome? I drank it. <laughs> you drank the tears of my ancestors? Uh, that, that's uh, why I hate to be uh, fair, guess your what? brother thanked us for doing it. You, and not only that, and not only that, but guess what? We overcame every tribulation and trial that you fell to, so I'm technically a better guy right, than you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he will say, I thank you, my friend. An act of bravery such as this means that you were able to find me. You bear the mark of my house. He will place his hand on your shoulder. Welcome, brother. Oh, uh, does that this mean is, wait, he's part elf? Make him an elf he's, now? Yeah, he's really no, part elf. White elfish. I'm not actually an elf. I'm an honorary elf. It doesn't matter. You are very count. elf. You're very elf-like in elf. demeanor. Elf. 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 Oh. We hold him up like at a bar mitzvah and we all like, <laughs> hold up on our hands and like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Look. It was. I didn't even pull you out of there. It was Big Pipe and he points at Big Pipe. I, I didn't die. I would have died if I walked in there. I wave. Hi. Well then. You said you spoke to my brother. It seems his spirit yet lingers. Oh, he gets a hug, but I don't. <laughs> hug my friend Big Pipe right now. No. Brother. <laughs> the car gives Big Pipe a hug. I just did you a favor. I just, Thanks, is... man. I needed that. My hugs are only for family. All right, fine. Whatever. Wow. How do you feel, by wow. the way? You must feel pretty bad. It looks like you're dying. <laughs> uh, hold on, guys. I'm getting a mess from my mom. Okay. Anyways. You can see this guy's bulge in the handout. Yeah. See that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. I'll be back in a sec too. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm 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 actually back. I just needed to answer that. Um. Okay. Let us see my brother then. Yeah, come on. He's waiting for you. Oh. Uh, as they're walking, uh, Scrimpo is gonna ask uh, Callan, whose name he doesn't actually know. <laughs> He's gonna ask, "Hey, these uh." These little lords that took over the aqueduct, are they necromancers? Some of them no doubt possessed such capabilities. We were attacked by undead here. Well, then I suppose that confirms it. Oh my God, We have no necromancers. There is no telling how deep their corruption goes. If they corrupted truly themselves, then we will know when we approach the pyramid below. I shall take you there. If you are truly the inheritors, then the way will be closed to all but yourselves. But first, I must attend to my brother. Okay, now look, we'll stay out here, man, all right? Uh, unless you need company. He will, uh, <laughs> he'll take the, the goblet. Mm hmm <laughs> What do you do, cry a little bitch? <laughs> brother, you have returned! You are safe once more. Indeed I have. And now I can finally put you to rest. Oh, Jaldahir, 
only you had lived long enough to see your full potential, you were stolen in the flower of your youth. And he will begin to weep into the chalice. <laughs> you always were years. a fantastic, fantastic brother. brother. I love you I love dearly, you my dear friend. friend. <laughs> my family. Thank you. Thank you. Alan will place the chalice atop his brother's grave and will return to the others. Amen. You have done me a great service, so I shall do you one in kind. I will show you the way to the courtyard below. And there you will find a tomb in which the Lord of Flowing Water yet sleeps. And perhaps reclaim what is yours to inherit. But Word. until then, perhaps we so, could rest. My body yeah. appears to be heavily damaged. Yes. Yes, the rest would be very good. Is that Not question, a bad idea? Is yeah, what's there those a way to like wave the scepter so any more guardians don't come and kill us in our sleep? That would be bad. Raise it high above your head. Okay. Okay. I raise it above my head. And as you do, Callan will kneel before it and he will say, I, Callan namesaken, doth bequeath my fealty unto these inheritors, and let all that serve my people be in service to them. And with that, the scepter will glow with power, it will actually Ooh. seem to emanate brighter than before. You feel that this is now a sanct place. Oh. Ooh. Question Are the illusions still active? Now? The illusions fade, revealing the rot of the of the market as it was. No All longer right. is it false, oh. but the truth is not yet pretty. I'm gonna just quickly use my super goggles and just do perception. Just see if there's anything not rotten, you know? Just 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 a quick little Go ahead. Just, yeah, just a quick little, you know open my eyes real quick. All the way, both this, eyes. This this place sucks. Yep. All right. Cool. Think it's here. <laughs> That's a waste of a twenty, but I don't care. All right, man. Uh, I'll, t I'll take first watch, even though it, you know it feels pretty safe, but I just mean, in case. I mean, it feels. I mean, honestly, why not just? Hey, Ronnie. Oh, oh my God! That's right. He'll bark. He's a dog. Ronnie, Ronnie. Will, Ronnie will smile. All right, boy. I don't think you could understand me, but I need you to sit here and I need you to watch us. And if anybody comes and tries to disturb us, you need to bark real loud. Ruff. All right, he will stand watch. Oh, hey, all right. Good boy. Good boy. And I will like lean up against this bit right here and just go to sleep behind Ronnie. Your car roosts on the top of the mausoleum. Scrumpo hides under this. <laughs> Callan will sleep in his brother's mausoleum. Oh. <laughs> Peppa hands. Oh. All right. Does the party rest? Yes. 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 And thus the party receives a long rest. Oh. Okay. All right, and yes. uh, that is probably the best place to call it because I have to do, I have to call my mom and arrange some sure. things. So it's all good, dude. Makes sense. Sorry for the late you start are. there. No, it's you're okay. Fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, in the uh, about that, um, you could probably do more than three k bit rate, but I would experiment with it a little bit. Yeah, I gotta, I got, I'm gonna go for forty five hundred. I think that's pretty safe. And also okay. yell at your ISP when you get the time I and ask them why. It, yeah. it, 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 I, I don't even. I, first, I would get a new router and then call your ISP because <laughs> they're fucking you somehow. I feel it feels like it because it's it's weird how it's um like it's very consistent. Like it's so strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 normal buffering that's like a symptom of said router or just. It has to be the router. I can't imagine it, be, it being anything else, but... I'll call them and see if they can bring me a replacement. Gee. But yeah. Thanks for playing, guys.
Yeah. Also, hit me up after you. whenever you get free time, and I'll help you get a new PC set up. Thanks, man. I, I probably will after I call my mom. Uh, thanks for playing, guys. I'll see you guys. Thank you. Have a good yeah. one. See you next week. Bye. All right, chat. Normally, I'd uh, hang out with you guys, but um, I got to call my mom, and I got to... I just got to take care of a lot of stuff. Um... Thank you guys for all your support, uh, all the follows and subs, and uh, everything else. It means so much to me to have you at my back. Um, tomorrow uh, is Monday, and there will be streams then. Um, I will be doing those games. So those games are uh, at 5 p.m. CST and at 9 p.m. CST. And then after that, from Tuesday to Thursday, I will be unavailable as I will be going to visit my mom. So, thanks, guys. And I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Next week, we should be starting an hour earlier. <sighs> have, a, have a fantastic evening. <laughs>